And good afternoon. This is Coach McPeter of Deep Dish Football. Go for the whole uh, Deep Dish Football Game of the Week overtime this Saturday at Juliet West. Juliet West versus Juliet Central. And other, you got two teams that are totally different uh, record wise. Um, you have a team in Juliet Central last year. They, their last two games they won. Their uh, second to last game that they won actually beat, uh, I think it was like 12, a lot of year streak of losing. Uh, and you have Juliet West went to the playoffs last uh, went to the playoffs last year. And right now are, let me try to get this. Sorry about this. I think they're, they're thorn. They're four in three. Um, Juliet Central, Plainfield North, uh, Juliet Central. They, this is a must-win for them. If you have playoff points, again, I'm not big on playoff points, as you can see. Not that good with math. <laughs> I guarantee you that. But it's going to be a good game. Um, let's go over Juliet West uh, season so far. Juliet West lost to uh, Oswego East, twenty to thirty-six. Beat Plainfield South, lost to Oswego. Beat Romeoville, beat Plainfield East, beat Plainfield Central, uh, beat Plainfield Central. Lost to Manuka last week. Juliet Central in the last game is a tough game. Plainfield North. Coach Aubrey does a good job with his uh, players in it. Uh, they have a talented group of players, some very talented players. Kevon Doris, Ezekiel Tulloch, one of the top running backs in the state of Illinois. Kevon Doris, one of the better slot backs in the state of Illinois for the 2019. Of course, Jackson Aubrey, quarterback, small athlete. Uh, has a great arm, um, very, very well-respected quarterback in the state of Illinois. Uh, he's going to be a 2019 class, 2019 player to look out for. Arthur Hart, safety to look out for. Again, I do not acknowledge injuries. Uh, that's uh, talking about injuries, minor's injury. I don't talk about one bit out for both rosters, just a little bit of a, a quick announcement. But Julia West now has a great level of talented players. That have exceeded, that have exceeded talent through the high school ranks into going into college. Now, Julie West is building a program, a very good program, and it starts with that coaching staff, Coach Smith, Coach Aubrey. All those coaches for Juliet West have done an uh, exquisite job. I know their defensive backs coach, I'm forgetting his name, for Juliet West is very, very well respected. He's doing a hell of a job. That coaching staff is molding a team and a program that will continue to succeed every year and year, year, year after year after year. Juliet West is a team to definitely look out for. This year, they're going to, I think they're going to get into the playoffs. That's my personal feeling. Next year and the year after that, they are going to be a dangerous team. They are building a farm. Like I, get, I use the term a farm system like baseball, that freshman sophomore level. It speaks levels to that freshman sophomore coaching staff as well. When I talked about Oswego East, I talk about Juliet West. They are building, they are building a program there, and Coach Aubrey deserves all of the acclaim for what he has done, especially in Coach Smith, uh, the defensive backs coach, the other coaches of that Juliet West coaching staff deserve a huge, huge uh, salute for what they have done with that team, and those group of players that Juliet West has is a very underrated group of players, especially Kevon Doors. He deserves a lot more respect. Ezekiel Tulloch deserves a lot more respect. A group of – Arthur Hart deserves – just you look, when you look at this team, you're looking at a team that deserves, and I keep saying it's more respect. And Julia West, the problem is that they get the lack of respect that they're getting, especially for their players, very, very underrated players for Julia West. Now let's go to Juliet Central. Um, won their last two games last year. Uh, it was big because they uh, beat uh, who they beat. They, I'm sorry, they, they didn't beat the last two games. They won the middle of the season. They beat Plainfield Central in the middle of the game. Last game they beat Romeoville. Sorry about that. I I do apologize. Uh, I forgot about that. Uh, that they've been they won in the middle of the season. A very um, I have coached in losing seasons. I've coached 0 and 9 seasons. I've coached eight and eight seasons. I played in o, o and nine seasons. I played in o eight seasons, and there's nothing good about it. How do you get a? How do you get the morale of a, of a teenage kid to uh, basically want to play football after he's losing so many games? How do you get a team morale to 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 just um, 
to just go out every practice and say, we lost last game, we want to win another game, we got to win this game. It's it's tough, and we have a, a history of losing. I've coached at a program that, that has a strong history of losing. Uh, and it's it's tough, and it's even tough from the coaching staff because you have to deal with kids that that want to, uh, that are interested in other sports and trying to get their mindset on football. It's, it's a tough, it's a tough project. And you got to give it to those kids that step out onto that field every week, day in and day out, that practice, that play every week, that have an 0-6, 0-7 record, that have a history uh, uh, of tradition of losing games. You have to take your hat off for those kids because those kids are fighting. They're fighting for that win. They're fighting for that team. They're doing whatever it takes, whatever it takes to win a game and to build a program. you got to give to any coaching staff that takes a losing program and it's trying to build it. And that Juliet Central uh, coaching staff is trying to build a program, trying to build a program. And you know what? They deserve all the respect in the world. So do those players. Simple as that. And the one main thing was, I was the question, well, why are you going to see this game? Uh, Juliet Central is, uh, is not that good. Doesn't matter. It's still football. And this is for the love of the game. And these kids are playing for the love of the game. These coaches are coaching for the love of the game. They're trying to build something. And it, simple as this. Even though they're having a losing season, they can look on to other seasons. And if they have a couple few winning seasons... They can have this thought in their head that they built the foundation for a football program, a winning football program. Now, Juliet Central's 0-7 uh, right now. But when they go on to that field, they're 0-0. Simple as that. Football doesn't care if you're 0-6, 1-4, uh, 2-3, uh, whatever. This is football. And you got to play to your potential. And Juliet Central has a lot of potential. Don't get me wrong. They're not as a, they're not a bad team as everyone is saying. They have a lot of potential. Zach Wernowski, uh, I think he's a great quarterback. Cristiano, 6'4", uh, big offensive tackle. They have a good group of athletes. But again, you got to give it to those players, to that team, to those coaches that bust their ass every day, every week. You have to give it to them. You can't be. You can't say only oh, no, the no, no. They put the helmet on every day. They go onto the practice field, and they bust their they bust their ass for their for their teammates. Simple as that. That's what Juliet Central football is doing right now. Yeah, they lost all those games, but God bless them. They're playing football and they're playing the game that they love. Much respect to Juliet Central, and I can't wait to see this game too. I think it's going to be a good game. Everyone's good, all the smirks and that, but I feel really do think this is going to be a good game. I know Juliet West is a hell of a team, but Juliet Central deserves some respect. Zach Wynowski, he's a good quarterback. They have a bunch of other good little players. That offensive tackle that I just mentioned. And you know what? What that coaching staff is doing, they're building a program. And much respect for what they're doing. Simple as that. So I will be there Saturday afternoon, um, 1 o'clock. Deep dish football, overtime game of the week between Juliet Central and Juliet West. It's going to be a fun game. It's going to be a really fun game, and I can't wait to see it. So I'll see you Saturday at 1 o'clock. Can't wait. Uh, Juliet West, great group of coaches. Can't wait to meet some of the Juliet Central coaches. Um, looking forward to seeing the quarterback out of Juliet Central and some of the players of Juliet Central, too. And, of course, always the Juliet West players. I have a lot of respect for the Juliet West players. Bunch of good group of, bunch of group, good group of kids that I met over the summer. And uh, I met Zag Wodnowski. He's a good. He's a hell of a quarterback. Great technique. Great mechanics for a quarterback. Um, and it's going to be a good game. So I will see you at Juliet West this Saturday after uh, this Saturday afternoon, one o'clock. It's going to be a good game. Juliet West versus Juliet Central uh, rivalry game. And uh, it's going to be my second suburban uh, Southwest Prairie uh, conference game because the night before I will be at Manuka and Oswego East. So it should be a great. A uh, weekend of two games. Can't wait this Saturday. Week 8 IHSA football. Have a lovely, lovely day.